okay oh the dissipate locks onto the monk that was massive we needed that so bad Hey, what's going on everybody full furniture today bringing y'all a clash mini video and in today's video we're gonna go over a free-to-play friendly monk deck that i think will work really well in the meta so our monk is level six we're gonna hop into some ranked games right now first match is gonna be up against a monk of our own so for this deck we have the giant skeleton the mini pekka the healing ranger the valkyrie and the archer so we have the archer for backline damage don't i minor could probably work well with this deck as well but i do like the thought of having the archer uh in because it can do really well versus archer queen it can do really well um if they have like wizard or rural champion secured and kind of tucked away in the the back line we're gonna get the peacemaker off here and then i think we should be able to take down this healing ranger especially if we're able to get uh our peacemaker off so even with the heal here uh, our peacemaker should be able to come through and yeah it gets a clean up so we're able to take that first round so we're going to be up against a level three monk so let's do um let's just get this kind of setup going i'm actually going to put the archer on the other side because i want i want to make sure the healing ranger if there's if we're able to stay close enough to the monk that the healing ranger is targeting the monk oh bowler is going to be able to come through so we'll definitely be targeting the monk here peacemaker is going to get off first very nice and we're able to take his monk down so now we have the archer targeting his healing ranger in the back line while everything else is just solely focused on our monk we are able to get the peacemaker off even with the mini pekka there does get the heal onto the bowler peacemaker comes through the healing ranger not able to get a shot off in time but now we have double shots and we're able to get the victory in that round so this should be a quick 3-0 for us uh unless anything goes drastically wrong we are going to with reduced attack speed it's only by one i think we'll still go for the upgrade here and then i want to go for the dissipate upgrade onto the mini pekka and we're going to reroll, see if we can get the archer and we'll get the clash ability. So that way the attack speed that was reduced from the first star ability is not as offset. Um, and we're able to still get a pretty good amount of damage. Dissipate is going on to the giant skeleton, which was not the play that we wanted. Healing Ranger is going to be able to get off, but the shot's not going to be able to come through the Valkyrie with that clash ability. Or not with the clash ability, with the, um, the spin was able to upgrade her attack pretty quickly let's go with the healing ranger here let's do this we're gonna go with the valkyrie here we're gonna go with the speed increase and then i'm also gonna grab our a valkyrie of our own and i'm gonna switch the archer over to this side and i think if we end up going to round three we'll go with the giant skeleton upgrade or we'll just get the valkyrie straight to level two probably the valkyrie straight to level two is going to be the best way to go about it because the valkyrie getting that clash is really really clutch so we do have the speed increase right there we are targeting the valkyrie of our own monks is going to get taken down now we have the speed increase onto the archer and that's going to be a th so it wasn't the 3-0 that we thought we were going to get it was a 3-1 but nonetheless still able to walk away with the victory so gg's right there let's hop into game two we have a barbarian king now uh let's mirror the archer here uh and let's just go for the valkyrie straight in the front line and i'm also gonna go with the monk off to this side and we'll see what he's got i don't know if he's gonna play a prince or anything on this mirror tile so this is a barb king level five so this will actually be a really good test because the barb king level five is still pretty good um this is most likely what it would be like in a lot of people's trophy range like the average person is probably going to have a hero between level four to six so this will be a really good test to see how barb king is firstly and then also let's do this uh let's throw the monk behind and we'll split this up a little bit so here we go all right and didn't play anything else 
so I don't know if this person's AFK or if they just gave up. It's only a one level hero difference, so. We'll see if they gave up. All right, let's mirror. Let's go for the clash ability. Get that extra speed. And we don't get the roll for the archer there. So, the mirror going through. Oh, he, he didn't give up. He just stopped playing for that one round for some reason. Healing Ranger, or the Archer. I don't know why I said Healing Ranger. The Archer's coming in clutch, and we're able to walk away with a 3-0. So, didn't play anything in that second round, but the third round played a lot, switched things up, and we were able to come out on top still. So, let's try to get one more match in here. And we're going against another another monk. Question is, do I use the bounce tile? I think we do. I think we actually put the giant skeleton on it. Let's launch the giant skeleton to the back. Because if they don't put anything on it, which they did. Alright, so level 6 monk versus level 6 monk. Oh, our peacemaker got off first. And it turns to the giant skeleton. What a play. <laughs> Our peacemaker got off first. And then the monk turned to the giant skeleton and peacemakered that instead. That was prime. Alright. So now let's do... Let's get the archer here. And I think we're also going to go with the healing ranger. If he launches the Valkyrie, the mini P.E.K.K.A. should go over to it. I don't know if I want to upgrade the mini P.E.K.K.A. just yet, so I want to leave it on my bench in case we do. Uh, oh, he gets a Clash ability. Oh, the Peacemaker coming through. No, mini P.E.K.K.A. stay alive. Oh, it's going to heal the Archer. Oh, that was bad. That was so bad. That was not good. All right. So I think we actually need to see if we can grab the Valkyrie up to level one here. All right, so the Peacemaker gonna go through able to take down our monk we do heal the mini pekka oh wow that dark goblin is putting in work on the backside all right so this is really close i think we'll be able to bounce back from this if two things happen here first one is going to be Let's do this. Let's do. Let's get the dissipate. Let's get the speed increase. Let's do this. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Oh, the dissipate locks onto the monk. That was massive. We needed that so bad. He did level the knight up to three, but it's not going to do anything. That was beautiful. Okay. I was really concentrating, so I wasn't talking about what I was doing there. But essentially, what I want to try to do is we're going to go for the larger boom effect here. We're going to go with the... I think we just want to upgrade the archer twice. And leave this right here. He's going to launch the Valkyrie. His Valkyrie's not doing much. Giant Skeleton Bomb gonna go off. The Archer's gonna get the shot onto the Dark Goblin. That is huge. And we're able to make the comeback. Let's go. Oh, man. So the healing... The speed increase on the Healing Ranger is really good. Plus the heal has a little bit of a wider area as well. So if you have two units that are grouped up, um, it's gonna target one of the other. You have that Giant Skeleton for the front line. You have the Mini P.E.K.K.A. for damage with Dissipate. Like, this deck just works really well. So, I'm really liking this deck. 
feel free to give it a shot. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. What's your highest win streak so far after the update? What deck are you rocking? I want to see what you guys are doing, but that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more content, and don't forget to turn the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you later. Peace out.